place. Okay. Don't let it block their shit in. When has when have we done these preloads? Started about two weeks ago. How many do we have here? Like five at, trailers? At the minute, you got five. It's interesting. Huh? <laughs> interesting. Uh, it's a start in progress. Oh, okay. Hey, it's better for us then. So, so far, as long as we can get you guys dispatch on the same page, because that's always they, they like Friday. They gave me five loads, mm -hmm. and I hadn't even had a chance to set them up. They were already sending trucks for them. Well, why do preloads if? That's what I said. I can live load you just as fast. Okay. Do you what? What do you want me to leave? Anything? Uh, four coil racks on the trailer. And that's it. Okay. Yep, all right. You're getting four on that one. Okay. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Watch me in the mirror, and I'll stop and spread your axle. Okay. All right, you guys. So you get an even number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take your middle one right here. Okay. So you have three back there. You have four in the front. Right. So I like to put the hook. Pretty close to there. Right across. Okay, we need six more. Front ones you're gonna throw to the right. And the back ones you're gonna throw this way. So what I'm gonna do from right here. See how that is. So then, what you're gonna do is this is your middle. Okay. Just hold it. It. Same thing here. You can throw them and try to put them like right here, but that's why it's a little fast. You don't have to make anything special. Make sure you get all the tangle out. Okay. Same thing here. Just grab it like this. Just throw it across. I just want to make sure this is nice. There you go. Back up here in the front. Same thing here. Pull it up. And throw across. 
So it's that. See how this is caught? You'll make sure these don't get caught. Okay. Do that, I'm gonna show you guys how I do the butterfly. back over here as we'll see it'll make an extra up so you bring us over here okay you'll see thing here you can tell it's twisted the way I tell if it's twisted or not is the lettering it shouldn't show the lettering and straight across out of here okay so then you guys will see this one across okay. oh, burning okay Me while like rolling when it's short, like doing the kind of fold in it, is because when you fold and you keep tightening, tightening that fold will go into this. So when it's short, I like to do it this way. If it's long, I fold it. I didn't like him helping you because it's better if you do it on your own and he shows you because yeah. then you feel for it. Yeah, because I think this part done and I'm gonna start here pulling back. Does that look One, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, because your middle is right there. Or right there actually. Yeah, so now your axes have to go this way. So So I'm gonna try that over the top thing. Yeah, I just did it for the YouTube channel. So uh so if you hook it here and throw it, throw it across. Throw it again. Okay. You'll have your X. Yeah. So these are gonna go backwards. Yeah, so you're making your X. Yeah, I haven't done this one and I feel kind of stupid, but yeah. you gotta start somewhere. Yeah, they're it, once you do them they're easy like I did there. Yeah, I know he was all that. I'm like, that's all right, so yeah. I go over there and So my them. thing is throw them all so you don't okay. keep walking back and forth. All right. So if you, yeah, if you do all, come back, throw them all, throw them over. Less walking, save time. Practice comes with experience. 
First time I did, I watched the YouTube videos when I first started. I watched. Yeah. So now. Same thing. How uh, you hooked it? So you can probably hook it here, throw it over again. Huh? You haul that so bad. There's easy. You'll see once you do like one or two of them. They're easy as as shingles and all that. Once you do one or two of them, you'll you'll see there. Yeah. Then you need another and another one right here. Yeah. You always try to be as close to like right. Good. No, I gotta wait for five minutes. She hasn't doesn't have the paperwork ready. Well, I think they're all tight. Yeah. So got that done. Now we'll make this one thing here. Yeah. Uh, Scrap two straps. You have to dark as well. If it says, I don't know, mine doesn't. Yeah, you have to go to that tarping machine. Oh, you got it? Yeah. So this we just hook, throw it through. Yeah, so the butter, yeah. Same thing. Yeah, if you have an odd number, then you just say, yeah, seven, you three and three in the middle is the, if you have an odd number. Do we need to put a strap? Usually in the middle, yes. Because you think about it, if it your strap comes undone, it's gonna come up like this. This is eight. Yeah. No. But if you don't put one in the middle, this is your middle because you can tell okay. by by this. Okay. So put one here. Because you think about it, if you hit a bump, it'll just come up. So if you have a strap in the middle, it holds oh. holds it down. So these three are holding this thing down. Okay. These are holding it together. I throw that through. Yeah. Also over here. Yeah. Okay, where is this strap? The middle? Yeah, so. Yeah, for this one. So scoot this one a little back. Kind of want it like in here in the dunnage. Like pulling this way. I would say like right here. Huh? And then put that strap, hook it right next to this one. This one? Uh, no, the other one. The other strap, you're gonna do a butterfly. Yeah, so hook it right, here. right next to it, yeah. To me, I'll take it. Yeah, because it's it's all brand new, so it's gonna do it. Yeah. So when you throw it, you know how you're gonna throw it, but you're gonna twist it, because you don't. You see how mine are twisted, so it doesn't flop. Yeah, that's good. Okay, and watch your head. Yeah, and then you throw it to me, but twist it. Oh, 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 God. <laughs> Let me see if I can save it. Don't, don't pull on it. Just go straight. Right there. Don't lose it. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And twist it. Okay. And then you're just gonna winch it down right, right here. Do we have any winches? Yeah, and that's it. So it's gonna look like that. Right. It's gonna pull down, is okay. what that's gonna do. And then this one here. Throw it across. And I'll throw it to you. Uh -uh. It's all right. Man, you guys got long straps. Oh, let me see. There we go. All right. And that's it. And that just goes that way. 
the same exact where the hook is, straight across, right by the pocket winch. Okay. Yeah, they just go right straight across. Okay. Yeah, you're welcome. We'll always help each other. Yeah, so when you get a hang of it, you help the next person. <laughs> What's up everyone we just got unloaded uh, I went to this truck stop just down the road uh, we got a load and I rejected it because it was only paying $800 to go like 200 miles deadhead and then 17 miles to drop uh, after talking to my dispatcher talking to my boss Jeremy uh, it's a good idea to take the load it's paying four dollars a mile if you really look at it um, in my experience with these kind of loads, it's always BS. Like you're gonna arrive there, they're gonna tell you to go to another place, 10, 20 miles down the road. And then that place is gonna tell you, we don't have a load or the load's not here. It's gonna be a runaround. So uh, talking to my dispatcher, you know, it's like, I'm trying to make you more money since I've been down, you know, these short loads pay very well. And I just told them why I rejected it, but we are going to stay on this load. Uh, I'm going to stay the night here. I'm going to leave around 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning. Get to St. Louis by 7. So I can beat all the traffic. 6.30 probably. 6, 6, 6.30. And then hopefully it's the right place. Um, on Google Maps, it doesn't show where the place is. So it's a warehouse. So a little worried about it, but I'm going to take it. And hopefully it goes out. It turns out to be... An actual great load so they are rare but i'm hoping hoping it is a good load so i'm gonna get something to eat going to go to bed wake up pick up this load and then hopefully they'll uh run me around a little bit before i go home to see my family so i'll see you guys on the next video appreciate every single one of y'all like share subscribe email me if you guys have any questions peace out stay safe